Yo guys, what's going on? Um, so basically, today I've like just gonna uh, make another video on five more ways to fix possible fixes um, to Modern Warfare's crashing issue that they're still having for some people. Personally, it's reduced quite a lot for me, so I don't really have this problem a lot. But I still have five ways that I haven't uh, posted yet. Um, so we're gonna start off with the first one, which is when you're on the Battle.net homepage for Modern Warfare, go to options, game settings, uh, go to, I don't know where this actually was, where was it, game, yeah, game settings, uh, additional command lines and arguments, and the code is dash or like a minus sign for you, I don't know what dash is, D3, D11, I'll paste this in the, um, description so you can just copy and paste it and then just press done sometimes that fixes it no one knows why but yeah that's um that's the first one um the second one is priority on task manager so what i'm going to do is actually just turn off the game sound for modern warfare really quickly so you can't hear oh any such press does not so basically just go to here go to details wait for modern warfare to launch on task manager which if you don't know where it is just search here task manager let's be like that um <coughs> ignore my voice by the way i've just woken up so like yeah uh should come up in a sec all right so model warfare's now started go to task manager scroll down to you find model warfare.exe which is here right click set priority and change it to one of these four I don't recommend low but I recommend one of these three and sometimes that can change it normal is quite a, uh, a good one so I normally put it normal or above normal and yeah just change priority and that can sometimes help fixing crashing issues and also while I'm here actually another thing this at the top when it says installing shaders to optimize performance through gameplay and progress for uh, multiplayer 100% I recommend letting all of them just sit on this uh, the home page. Let all of these uh, download and whatnot. So it says this, and then play because if they're not all downloaded, sometimes the game just bugs out. I've had to every update. I just let it sit on the dashboard until it is complete. So yeah, that's uh, two plus a little bonus one I forgot about. <coughs> Next one we got is. Uh, lowering your VRAM, VRAM usage, which mine is 1509 out of uh, 4076. Um, so, what you can do to lower it is change graphics. Mine's normally on low. Uh, oh, God. Mine's normally on low. Um, but yeah, you can like, change some of these stuff that affects it. This one's the main one. What just happened? Sometimes that happens, I don't know why, but... Ignore that. Oh, God. This game is very buggy, as it just proved, uh, proved to you in the video, that, like, it just crashes absolutely randomly, and you cannot help it, but there's not much I could do about that bug. I don't know about that one. Alright, so, let's get back to where we all, shall we? So... Wait, it loads... If you have any personal issues that like you've not seen tutorials on, I recommend posting it in the comments and um, some people might know a fix to it and they might reply to your comments, so do that because I know that happened in my last video. Someone posted a problem they didn't know about and someone replied because I didn't know. Oh my god, it's so tired. Alright, so let's go. Alright. Also, make sure your game is up to date. Sometimes it says it's done update, but it doesn't actually update all of it. I've had that problem before, so that's another one. Anyway, go back to this, so yeah, uh, texture re resolution changes it, I'm not sure else does it, yeah, shadow map resolution, I don't really have it on high, probably have it like normal, uh, particle lighting doesn't, so I always have that like high, and I'm not too sure what other things are, but just have a mess around, but make sure it's not over half, and I might, know that might sound bad, but until this issue is completely fixed, I recommend not having it. Um, near max so 
and another one, uh, I don't know what this is now, like four. Um, when you load your game up and it crashes, or if you just want to do this just so like you want to make sure it like, might run smoothly, um, go to Task Manager, or if, it, if the game crashes, just ignore this step. This is if your game hasn't crashed and you just want to end it so it comes up with last time Modern Warfare didn't run correctly, would you like to run in safe mode? You need that message to come up, so just um, do that. And I'm pretty sure it should come up because I, I can't make my game crash, so I'm hoping this will make it come up um, and not kill my PC. All right, so hopefully it will come up. If not, I'll just have to explain it. Yeah, it said good. This is what you need to come up. So it appears Call of Duty Modern Warfare did not quit properly last time. Do you want to run game safe mode? Say yes, and you can either leave it in safe mode, and it mo most likely will not crash. Like I don't think I've ever crashed in safe mode. Or you can do this, which runs in safe mode but puts your graphics back to normal. So this is how you do this. Um. Oh god, so tired. <laughs> So, so you see it's really bad quality in a minute. Um, so now you're here. What you need to do is go to graphics here and then change full screen to full screen borderless, extended window or windowed. Just if you want it full screen, just change it to full, uh, full screen borderless. Apply settings, screen will go black and then come back and it'll be good quality and it's still running safe mode. Um, and then if you click multiplayer, it will go back to non safe mode. But if you just go options, graphics, do it again, apply settings. And you shall be in normal mode, and but you'll be running in safe mode. So that also sometimes stops crashing for me. And if worse comes to worse, I'll just leave it in safe mode and play it in that until my game starts to work. So yeah, that is number four, and I hope that helps you fix your problem. The last one is a bit of a touch and go one because it doesn't really help always, but some people, if your drivers are out of date, it will help. So if you make sure your drivers are all up to date and whatnot make sure everything is up to date um, in your drivers and your uh, graphics um, software is all up to date and yeah that's the only other option I can give to you guys because uh, so I've done that before I've updated my drivers and it actually has helped so yeah I don't know where to find the update of the drivers though to be honest so you'll have to find it search on YouTube so yeah um, I think that's it. Um, if I find any more, I'll tell you. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any more quickly. Off the top of my head, but I can't think of any. So yeah, I'm gonna have to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed. If any of these helps, make sure to like, sub, and uh, leave a comment down below. Um, yeah. So thank you very much for watching, and as I said, make sure to subscribe on the Rose One K. So and get help me get to that and um yeah cheers for watching